Hi, I'm Ish. And I'm Dee. Welcome back to the channel. We are watching Arcane, episode 8. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> that capella came back out. Yeah. I'm so excited for these final two episodes. We have been stoked since the last one. What happened in the last one? I am so excited that I'm so nervous. Are you like, nervous? I'm sad that... There's two episodes left. We're coming and to I'm an nervous end. to watch this episode. I'm nervous to watch these last two also. Well, I'm nervous and excited. I guess it's a bittersweet ending. It's, I'm excited to see how the storyline continues forward. What happened at the end of Seven? Echo, Jinx. Oh, yeah. Oh. So she blew up pretty much the grenade. Because yeah. She was just like done. Right next to both of them. And we don't know what happened to both. Yeah. So Echo hopefully Echo's still alive. Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume that they're both still alive because they're big characters. Yeah. But this one's called oil and water. And we all know what happens with oil and Opposites. water. Opposites. They don't mix. They don't mix. Marcus died. Oh, yeah. I kind of felt bad for shitting on him for this whole series. That he... No, I have no remorse. This guy. <laughs> I mean, he's the reason why Silco was successful, I guess. Right. I think he was I just trying to protect he his was... family. Marcus was trying to follow Grayson with the thing with Vander. She Obviously, did it the right way. He did it the right way. Yeah. Marcus was making all the bad decisions. Yeah. For, or he was doing it for the money. That's what it seemed like it, right? Maybe because there's no mom and like he's like a single parent household. Yeah. Like, I, I felt bad daughter. for his daughter. Obviously, yeah, he wanted too. to protect his daughter. Yeah. Yeah. But just a very complex character, way. for yeah. sure. Unfortunate that he died. I don't know what's going to happen with the daughter. I don't even know if they'll elaborate yeah, on that. Yeah, I wonder if she's going to play a big part later Maybe on. Maybe in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to see what's going on with Caitlyn and Vi's relationship and how right. looks like... Because at the we very... thought that they were going to split, but they ended up Yeah, coming back, back together. together. And Vi basically saved her at the very end, right? Mm -hmm. I think Caitlyn's like injured a little bit, so we'll see what happens, where they end up next. Also, Victor, we don't know what's going on with him either. Oh. And taking the, His the variant is going to oh, yeah. affect him. Yeah, and you're like put all the little runes in his skin so i'm, I'm assuming that because he's probably going to change form and probably yeah. also read the runes to like while he's big just a reminder i don't know i don't know that's either. just my guess we just don't know too because they haven't really elaborated on that story and they haven't really touched on it we just right. have been seeing like little glimpses yeah. and some of victor's past and him working with the monster doctor at the very end we see that his blood fused with the rune mm -hmm. to make the next yeah i'm crazy really shit so curious to see what he's gonna yeah. be i think episode nine is gonna end off with like a huge war between war. under city and, and piltover right and like both of them are gonna have their huge weapons jace is trying to make like a huge division between them because right. he doesn't trust the under city people right, anymore right, right. and that's why victor and him are fighting i'm just making predictions but i feel like their friendship's gonna break apart for sure and obviously like victor is gonna fight for the under city maybe yeah and then heimerdinger also like is pissed yeah or like is trying to stop all the arcane magic the artificial yeah. arcane magic so Maybe he's going to meet up with the doctor because he had his hood on and he was yeah, going to another right. city. Yeah, right. Right. We did see. The, yeah, right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I think we'll we'll get a lot of our answers answered yeah, in these next two sure. episodes. So. Mm -hmm. Two episodes yeah. left. Two episodes. I know. Yeah, I'm sad. I can't believe that everyone's been waiting since 2021. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm so happy that we started Arcane at this time because to me, it feels like this is like brand new. It feels like it just came out now. Yeah. And stick till the end, guys, because we're going to do another trivia. Yeah. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to watch the full episode and get early access, check out the link in our description. More information on our Patreon. And after Arcane, we are planning to do more League of Legends yes. Arcane content. So yeah. like and subscribe for that. Let's get, get into, into the episode. Let's go. I'm so freaking nervous. I know. And I had too much coffee. Yeah. Too I much Vietnamese, Vietnamese coffee. coffee. Shout out Vietnamese people. Let's go. Shout out to my ABGs. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh it's baby not Madonna. Baby Mel. Oh, we don't know anything about her. Her family. Family too. That was just crazy. When I was ten. Your grandfather brought me to the aftermath of the Battle of Hildenar. He wanted me to know death. Kino says war is a failure of statecraft. Your brother thinks he can talk his way out of anything. He fancies himself a fox among the wolves. But mark me, child. They're not showing the if face. If you want to last in this world, you must learn to be both the fox and the wolf. Mm, she definitely mastered that. Yeah. Ooh. She should have a kind, fat face. Yeah. Clever to charm her subjects, but pliable, so we can mold her. Damn. Perhaps she could be my daughter. Oh. That's the mom, right? Is that her mom? Oh, oh shit. What should we do with her? Damn. Who is that? Is that a slave? Who is that? She's a symbol of the old regime. 
kill her now. <gasps> Only one must die. Let her live and you may need to kill thousands. We can show the people we are merciful. Damn. Oh! <gasps> Bro, not the... the decapitation. The wolf has no mercy. Holy shit. <gasps> Damn, wake up all sexy again. So was that another Madarda? Yeah, right? I mean, she's- Oh, here we go. I wonder if she's that close to them anymore. Will you be okay? She got stabbed, right? I'll be right back. Okay. Damn. Damn, R.I.P. Marcus. Oh, there's Jinx. Where's that <gasps> go? Oh. That's like yeah, his baby. I know. He does look like he loves her. In a fatherly way. Oh, she didn't. Oh, she just has, has it. She has the, Chris, the gem. Damn. How oh. did she get it? It was all for nothing. Wow. Maybe she took it from Echo when they were fighting. Damn, her hair touches the floor. <sighs> Perfect time to get a drink of water. I'm stressed. Yeah, I, I don't know if you should drink that coffee. Oh no. Damn, I really want to watch that whole beginning like five times. Which beginning? The part with Mel, baby Mel. Oh, she was like so, so much going on in there. Yeah, a war is definitely brewing. Damn, they can't shut Marcus's eyes or something. I've got orders to escort you back into the city. <laughs> He's freaking out, sir. Oh. oh, he's not used to this. Hey, you better wake up, Jace. He's for sure gonna oh, make the weapons sure now. Oh, they're for sure gonna build those weapons. <sighs> She's gonna be a wolf now. It's wolf time. Oh, where are they? She got like stabbed. Right? Oh, they're back in Vi's place. Who lives I mean, here? Another counselor friend of yours? This is good. It's gone. Oh, oh shit. <gasps> the mom. Oh, oh their shit. Face is hit. <laughs> oh shit. We were so worried. Thank goodness you're safe. The dad is found so cute. a stray. You found a stray. This is Vi. She's from the Undercity. Uh oh. So I see. Could we have a word, Caitlin? Uh oh. In private. <laughs> it's like bringing a girl home and getting called by her parents. <laughs> For sure, what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Speak to the council. You understand oh. you've broken several laws. She was doing what she thought was right. I'll take responsibility. You're a counselor's daughter. Your actions reflect on the entire body. Uh, you know what else reflects on the council? It's citizens living on the streets, being poisoned, having to choose between a kingpin who wants to exploit them and a government that doesn't give a shit. Uh, Kate. Oh. I'm sure our daughter could use some rest after her adventures. That is so cute. I know, I like the dad. I'll schedule an audience. Schedule. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> you and your friend can address the council yourselves. Friend. I'd suggest. <sighs> friend. It's so funny. It's like how my parents would. <laughs> That's what your parents call me? No. <laughs> What'd you say? Before. Before they accepted it. Oh. <laughs> You know what I mean? You know how parents do that? <laughs> oh, here we oh, go. Oh, here we go, Monster Doctor. Damn, his eyes all f***ed up. <gasps> oh, shit. Don't tell me they're gonna inject her. I believe I can save her. But the process will be... Oh, no. The bad thing. This is gonna be it. There's no turning back after this. Yeah. She can take it. Damn. And before I begin, I must know. Are you prepared to lose her? Jeez. Oh, Aww. she's alive. Damn. She won't die, Doctor. She can't. Damn. I understand. Please understand this is for your own sanity. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Damn. He probably knew he was gonna be too much. Yeah. Said the daughter. Oh shit. Damn, he had a daughter? Damn, this is crazy. Damn, she got the blunt. <laughs> this fool. 
I thought I might bend you here. This is your plan? Undermine Silco by making a half-assed play of my ego? Oh, damn. Every time I think you can't get dumber, you dig a new life. Let's be plain then. He's slipping. The Undercity's devolving to chaos. Jin gets a whim. Suddenly his spine's made of jelly. And here you are, shoveling his shit. Damn. This guy tells, still talking shit. Speaking back. Yeah. They know that the Undercity's a. Damn, they're gonna turn right on Silco. There's bigger fish than Silco. Is she gonna drain them? We like don't know what happened with Echo. Who's that? <gasps> oh, is that the person from the beginning? Yeah. Her mama? Not the mom. Damn. Who is it? Uh oh. Damn. She's shivering in her boots. She's big. Well, Elora. You didn't have to come out to meet me. Damn. She what? was hella tall. Oh, see, it is her mom. Oh, it is her mom. <laughs> Stories of Piltover's hospitality. <laughs> it's been over a decade, Mel, since yeah. you banished me. Whoa. Such drama. <laughs> I sent you here to oversee our family's interests and grow yourself. You said perhaps your sentimentality will be more at home with those soft spined idealists <sighs> overseas. Damn, so they're killers. Damn, the mom is buff as hell. Your brother's gone. Oh. Oh. What happened? Damn, she just found out. She's like. She is completely banished, I guess. I was distracted. That's a mistake I can't take back. Your Jace Talus has turned his eye to Hextech weaponry. War is coming. You've yeah. let the problems of your Undercity fester too long. Piltover isn't like Noxus. Noxus. War isn't our first and every recourse. I sponsored Hextech to protect the city, not burn it to the ground. It's not conjecture. It's a fact. Weapons can't be unmade, and they are always used. I'm here to help guide you to the right decisions. Damn. Damn, she's trying to burn Piltover to the ground. Miss Medarda. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Who's this guy? He's for me, dear. Damn, is that her man's? I'm off to sample the local cuisine. Oh. Oh, babe. Yeah. Damn, she likes the tiny ones. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Interesting. Yeah. Let's we'll go cupcake time. Present our case to the council tonight. You did all this yourself? Without even going down there? I thought Powder could get obsessed. <laughs> what happened to her? It's not your fault. Me and Powder used to share a bed like this. We pretended to be bigger and bigger monsters. So she would say, I'm a slug monster with venom for ooze. And I would say, well, I'm a slug eating crap with razor spikes. <laughs> She'd get scared. So sad. I, I didn't want her to start crying and wake my parents up, so I pretended to chase my own monsters away. Damn the animation. No monster's gonna get you when I'm here. Then a real monster showed up. And I just ran away. Damn. No, you got taken. Aww. Aww. Damn. Oh! This transition's really this transition's freaking me so out. crazy, I know. Oh, oh giving fuck. her shimmer. Oh, she's <sighs> like there's no point of return after this. Yeah. You're stronger than you think. This POV is insane. What did he do? This doctor? Oh my god, she's gonna be so souped up. Oh my god. She was like all scratching. Where is she? <gasps> what have you done? I saved her life. Oh shit. She's gonna look crazy. Oh, oh. Time dinger. There he is looking all cute in his little cape. <laughs> oh, he looks like a little baby Jedi. Yeah, baby Yoda. 
Yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> she looks like Marcus's daughter. Huh? Yeah. Ah. Oh. How do you do that? Like this. Cute. Get away from her. Genius. Oh, the <laughs> Though these blades seem improperly pitched. You're wrong. Oh, oh, he's still alive, thank God. It's designed for the fissures. Oh, thank God. Air is denser. Are you Counselor oh. Heimerdinger? Oh, how does he know? It's just Heimerdinger now. I wanted to offer my assistance to the citizens of the Undercity, but oh. it seems I'm unwelcome. <laughs> We're having the exact same day. I have to get home. It isn't safe for me here. I don't know how I'm gonna get down there with my leg busted. And, well, you're holding my ride. Gonna the oh my god. Damn, this girl living the life. Is she at the brothel? She for sure at a brothel. Maybe not a brothel, like a. What do do they, they teach those? military history at your academy, Mr. Tallis? It's oh. um, <laughs> Counselor Tallis. Oh. And I'm not sure. The Alorian general, Sonam Palak, used to find ways to meet his enemies blindfolded. He said a man's mind hides behind his body. <laughs> Squeeze, child. You won't break it. I do have other matters, so if you'll excuse the me. The threat of the Undercity is real. Your leadership is impotent. <laughs> the council is the problem. The mind hiding behind the body. Navigating she your her legs open and everything. Is <laughs> expertise you lack. Do you know what the success rate for senior academy inventors is? Three percent. We're no strangers to failure. What makes this the city of progress is that we keep trying until we get it right. Wait. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Same, Jace. You have the passion Look at all her scars. Yeah. I have experience. I want you to succeed here, Jace. To grace the world with Hextech. But if you don't accept certain realities, I fear you'll end up like General Parley. Some shit my dad would say. He's over here sweating. Damn, she's scary. Yeah. She's no joke. We have greater concerns than a dip in profits. The sheriff betrayed us. We need better information. We need to act before anyone else gets killed. What could anyone in the Undercity offer him that he didn't have up here? It's not what they offered him. Oh, oh let's go. It's what he had to lose. Damn there. Counselors, my daughter has a unique insight into our situation. This is Vi. She was born in the Undercity. Even though we failed her in countless ways, she risked everything to show me what life is really like down there. Damn. People are starving, sick, ravaged by Shimmer. One man leads these efforts, Silco. What does this Silco even want from us? He believes the Undercity should be independent. He calls it the Nation of Zorn. Do you know who made them? No. Well, uh... Her name oh. is Jinx. Oh. oh, shit. This Jinx has the gemstone. We have to go in by force. That could trigger war. There are good people down there. <laughs> Damn, so Jace is like the more aggressive net one now. Yeah, because of the mom. Well, because her mom got into his head. What happened to you? We've been talking about talking for weeks now. They're still cleaning the blood off the bridge. When do we say enough is enough? Jace, you don't know war. Yeah, facts. I do. It must be our last resort. Yeah. There may be a diplomatic solution. She actually makes sense yeah, now. Yeah, you see her in a different light in this episode. Yeah. He's being aggressive because the mom, and she's trying to like and just seeing all the reasonable. destruction on the bridge and. Yeah. This is insane. Did you learn nothing? You can't talk to him. He hates you. Everything you stand for. He will never back down. It's true. Enforcers, please escort them out. Forget it. I remember where your fancy damn door is. I mean, she didn't really get to explain that much. But she's basically like, you can't negotiate with Silco. Oh, her mom. Yeah. Wait! Where are you going? Back where I came from. So I can fix this. You can't. This is how things are, how they've always been. I was so stupid to Don't get mad at her. Something else we can do. Damn, they're in the rain. Some other way. We'll make a new plan. We have to try. Yeah. She's low-key romantic. It wasn't enough. 
Top side and bottom, oil and water. That's all there is. Oil and water. What about us? <gasps> she said, what about us? Oil and water. Oh. oh what does it mean to be? Put a little balsamic vinaigrette. It can mix. You have to sing them. Do yourself a favor, cupcake. Go back to that big, shiny house of yours. And no. Forgive me. Okay. She doesn't want to. I mean, I understand why she's feeling that way because she's hopeless, but Damn. Caitlin's really trying. Caitlin's not going to chase after her? I thought it was going to be one of those moments, you know? <sighs> in the rain. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wait. Oh. <gasps> he got a shimmer leg? Oh my what God. What the hell? It worked. Him and Powder are going to team up in. Uh... Whoa. He's like normal. Yeah, he's able to walk because of that shit. What the f is running? Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh yeah, he's gonna be on the super juice now. Victor, I've been working on this for a year now. It's like she has a proposal for him, huh? Oh Aww, shit. Oh, she really likes him. I was hoping you might take a look at something I've been working on. Oh my god, I feel like he's gonna kill her. Oh, oh see all the runes on his body? Yeah, you're right. Oh my god, <gasps> she's, he's gonna kill her. That's when he was changing. Oh no, does she not? Does she go in there with him? Do they fuse? She's like trying to save him, but he doesn't want to be saved. <gasps> she was the freaking sacrifice. <gasps> Bro. Oh my god. That that's sky. Huh? The leg is pretty much sky. The kid. The kid. Damn, she Holy really shit. That is so sad. See what you did cuz of all that magic. What the hell? I, mean, I guess it's not really his fault, but she tried to save him. He's gonna build his weapons. Is that by? Yeah. Oh, let's go. Oh, because they're on the same boat. Because they both think that they should be aggressive. You want to make Soko pay for what he's done? Yeah. Yeah. I want to make Soko pay. I want in. You heard the council. F the council. You said you were tired of doing nothing. I'm not a vigilante. No. Oh, he's gonna make her gloves. <gasps> oh, let's go. Oh, yeah, because he made the car. Oh, let's go, girl. Oh, shit. Is this so people notice you when you raise your hand in the boardroom? <laughs> Interesting. The team up we never expected. Yeah. We got a deal, pretty boy? <laughs> Tim, Haley yeah. Steinfeld. Atlas, Scotland. She really got that voice. She got the Thanos glove now. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, damn, he came down the hammer. Damn, they're going full force. This is crazy. <gasps> Firelight? Oh, no, that's the shimmer. These are just shimmer, shimmer people. I saw green. <laughs> Why is Jace with them? He should not be down there. Oh my god. He wants to do something. Oh. Damn, those things are crazy. Yeah. Oh. Oh! <gasps> Damn, through the heart. Damn, look at that hammer. Jace, you better get back inside your little ship. Now here comes Vi and her gauntlets. Oh, she got the double hits! Yeah. This is so... Let's go, bitch. Oh, no. the brick! Why what does the... Vi have so much Riz? Uh, she's got all the she Riz. Has all the... She's Damn, a Rizzer. Look at this team up. Let's go. Back to back, bitch. Oh my god, this is so cool. Not the double gauntlet. Damn! Oh yeah, uh, Jinx is gonna lose her shit. The fight scenes are crazy. Oh! Damn, hey, the cut on the eye? 
I like the music. Yeah. It's the real Daddy Jays. Damn! Damn, those gloves are sick! <gasps> this is nuts. Oh, shit. Oh my god, that thing got a reload on it? He went. Ch -ch -ch. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, oh my. my god! Why is this, this show is the so coolest damn good? Jay this is the coolest Jace has ever been. This is the coolest fight scene. <gasps> he shot a kid. He shot a kid. Never mind, this is he not was, hype. He was inside the thing? We were killing babies. Oh, oh shit. Oh, damn, why are they gonna do it like that? There's so much going on. This is, his emotions, like the facial expressions are crazy. I wonder how Vi feels because she's like, they want to take down Silco, but I think you can do it without all these people that are just forced to work for him, you know? Oh, shit. Is that Caitlyn? Yeah, we got a Caitlyn shower scene. <laughs> I mean, if I have to see Mel Madarda's mom, please. I'd rather see someone else. I'd rather see Caitlyn than Mel's mom. <laughs> Damn, she bleeding still? Oh, yeah. Let's go, it's Caitlyn time. Wake up, girl. Oh, she over here thinking about Vi. Those eyes. Yeah. She all pissed that she didn't grab her and kiss her. Your <laughs> face. <laughs> you Sorry, look really I'm focused. Like, I've been super focused. <laughs> this is you. <laughs> What's up, girl? What's up, Kate? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Oh, sh oh no. Is that Jinx? Oh, f damn, Jinx is in there in the shower too? Oh, it's over. Oh, oh shit. Why the f do they always end it on a crazy cliffhanger? <gasps> Jinx with the. Ah! God damn it! Jinx is trying to shower. <laughs> the episode with her? starts so fast. Jinx is trying to shower. You good? With her. <laughs> I am not good, guys. Look at my. That face. was the craziest episode. Hey, look at my hair. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Nuts. I mean, I have that same response after every single episode, but this you, was really. You guys are right. Every episode is just gets crazier and yeah. crazier. Like, I don't know how the next episode can top this one. I think. My guess is for the finale is that it's going to be the whole war. war. Yeah, it's going to be the start of the war. Yeah. And then it's going to lead into season two. Yeah. So I think Jinx is going to hold Caitlyn hostage. And obviously yeah. the sisters are going to fight. Big yeah. things that we remember we can solve with Mel Madarda. <sighs> oh my goodness. I think we I have a different have... soft spot for her now, right? Yeah, because we see more of her point of view. And yeah. like where she came from. She's the softest Madarda, even though she, yeah. she seemed like she was cutthroat in Tough. the beginning. Yeah. But she does have a heart and she doesn't want to wage war but she's doing it more and to have a defense in case something happens yeah right and jace is more like no we need to now he's aggressive yeah he had older madarda get in his head where the madardas come from and it's obviously clearly just straight war mel decided to leave or not she got, she banished. got banished she got banished probably because she was deemed weak weak oh. i kind of like seeing this backstory of her because then you really do understand where, where she's coming from has come from mm -hmm. comes i love from. that they really make the characters complex. And I actually really like this episode of Silco because you really get to see yeah, his, his relationship. Yeah, and why he really loves her. And you see even the doctor is like, oh, I have to sedate you because you're going to be too crazy yeah. and like overbearing when I'm just trying to save Jinx. And right. He does the crazy shimmer. I mean, I definitely feel for Silco, even though he did a lot of like the things, but obviously Piltover did like the most 
up thing, right? And put them in the mines and put them under these horrible conditions. Yeah. And he just wants respect. He wants to fight against all this unfairness. Yeah. And and then people have described this in the comments too, why fans really love Arcane because there really is no good or bad people. I think that's what really makes us as realistic as possible because there is a good and bad side to everyone. For sure, yeah. Victor oh and Sky. Yeah, she I was, was over wondering how herself. she was gonna play into yeah. the show, and she was literally the sacrifice for his yeah. leg. Another great way to show, not tell Victor when yeah. he was giving his blood to the rune that it wasn't enough and yeah. all the plants were dying. Yeah, but obviously it needs like a huge sacrifice for it to work, and she was a sacrifice. If she wasn't there, he probably would have died. The fight scene was insane. That was yeah. so sick. That was the coolest I've ever seen, Jace. I for, yeah, that was That a was the sickest scene. fight scene. Or just like I was so hyped from the things that they made. The yeah. gauntlets and then his hammer. Yeah. I thought it was really beautiful at the end where you see him. Like he looks like he's so angry. And he's so ready to kill Silco. Mm -hmm. But then you see him like killing a little boy. Yeah. yeah. And he's like shook. He's like, oh shit. Like yeah. this is probably not the monster I want to be. Yeah, exactly. And that, that's why I love about this story. It's not just like good and bad people. It's like you realize that these kids are probably just forced to like be a part of Soko's army and mm -hmm. they're just children. That's the only at the end way of the to day. fight back. Yeah. Yeah. Finale. Sorry, one more thing. We didn't talk about Jinx. She got a different and eye. Her, now. You saw her, her eye. eyes are just purple. It's her like glowing. Eye, I, I just see there's no point of return at this point. She's taking yeah. shimmer and she just scoffed like far end into evilness yeah and i mean it makes if you kind of think about it, it makes sense too because she obviously is having this internal struggle wanting to find vi and wanting to find her sister and wanting to be on her side but but Shimmer silko has literally taken care of her this entire time right the past seven years yeah. so she like confides in him and really sees him as and a also she's figure. mentally unstable yeah. she probably has like a lot going on and the shimmer is probably going to change her forever oh, for sure definitely just I, those two mixed in it's yeah it's it's sad. I agree with you. I think there's no point of return for yeah. her. Yeah. Mental instability plus the shimmer mm -hmm. is over for her. Not in a, I mean, like, I mean, know, we hope that we're wrong. Yeah. But it's not looking that way. I know. It, I think they really make this story where, like, you, everyone's rooting for Jinx to get back with yeah. Vi. But it's just, but we know the, I don't think it's going to The reality. Happen. Yeah, shit. Oh, okay, trivia time. <laughs> Beauty in the breakdown. Beauty in the breakdown. Yeah, trivia time. So our editor gave us some trivia, and so we're going to read the prompt. Parallels exist between characters in order to compare and contrast their struggles. It's a deep take of mine, but I'm convinced they choose eye colors for certain characters in order to pair them off. Which sets of characters share the same eye color, and can you draw any significant parallels between them? There's no limit to the right answers here. The answers are subjective this time around. I wish we read this before. So I can yeah, like I focus. Maybe it, no, maybe it was it wouldn't be smart because we'd be focusing on eye colors too much, yeah, and we won't focus on the show. But um, I think we talked about this before, and we don't really remember the eye colors. We only remember Caitlyn's eye yeah, sure color, eyes and I remember blue. Vi's eye color Green? is like light, very light blue. I remember Vi's are blue, like very light blue or grayish. I thought they were green. Shit. No, no, no. no. She so her eyes are definitely not green. I'm wrong. I'm yeah. Sorry. Whose eyes are green? I always say, I see them too and they're so beautiful. Yeah, someone's okay. eyes are green. Is this? Yeah, someone's eyes are green. Shoot, someone's eyes are green. They Who are. I think it's Vi. No, 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 it's not Vi. It's definitely not Vi? No, it's oh, definitely shit. not Vi. Okay. I think we should just look at the answers because okay. there's no yeah, point Yeah, sorry, we're really bad. The whole point of this is just to make the discussions to talking about the eye colors, so I think we can just click I think right. Heimerdinger's eyes are yellow too, right? Or gold. He's so cute. Okay. Nice. Cool. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's episode. This was nuts. We cannot wait to jump into the season one finale, episode nine. So don't forget to tune in and we'll see you guys on the next one. We'll see you in the last episode of Arcane Finale.